Oi, what are you doing? That in the Lego movie they said that they that um. No, it's not a toy. Right, get off. What's that? In physics, we don't just consider the size of everyday objects. We also need to look at uh, the very, very smallest things, so smaller than the diameter of an atom. We also look at uh, the very, very largest things in cosmology. Wow, that's space, Daddy! So in order to represent the very, very large and the very small in physics, we need to use some kind of notation. And you might be familiar with a metre, you may be perhaps one and a half or two metres tall yourself. But often if we look at small things, perhaps maybe the length of a minifigure, it's more appropriate to measure their length uh, with a smaller unit. And we might measure their length in millimetres. Okay, now metre here is the unit. But the M in front of it, although it has the same letter, is the prefix or the prefix. Okay, now a millimetre is a thousandth of a metre. So the milli means it's a thousandth. And one divided by a thousand is equal to 0 0.001, which we can write in terms of, of uh, our proper physics notation uh, as 10 to the minus 3. But what if we want to go really, really small or super, super big? We need a few more of these letters to, to stand for these. So M stands for milli, and that's 10 to the minus 3. We can go smaller than that, and what we have here is the micro. Micro, 10 to the minus 6. We can go smaller still, and what we have then is a nano. Objects uh, with a femto on the scale of a femtometer are sort of the, around the size of an atomic nucleus. So we can also do uh, the really big. We might have the kilo, so 10 to the 3. Mega, Giga and Terra. Um, I've left kind of one out, which you're probably the most familiar with, which is Centi. Okay, Centi, as in a centimetre, is 10 to the minus 2. And I left it out initially because all of these go up or down by a factor of a thousand each time. So we get a thousand times smaller or maybe a thousand times bigger. But these are the things that you have to be familiar with and be able to convert from maybe nanometers to metres or uh, terabytes to bytes, okay? That's not a good example. Perhaps from uh, gigawatts to watts.